Saints, welcome back to another video. So I am so excited to do this video for you guys today. This will be my second time doing this clay mask, but the first time I did it, I didn't really like it because I tried it with the apple cider vinegar and the apple cider vinegar, it just wasn't for me. It just irritated my scalp. I did not like it whatsoever and it also dried my hair out when I did use it. So in this video, I will be showing you guys how to use this clay mask with water and this was the results of my hair. So if you guys wanna see how I achieved this look, go ahead and keep watching. As I pour the healing clay mask into the bowl, I do want to let you guys know that you are not supposed to use any metal utensils while mixing this together. I also like my mask to be a watery consistency compared to when I add this on my face. I like it to be on more on the thick side, but the reason why I like it this texture is because it's easier to apply on my hair as I go. hair is so dry I'm just looking at this and I'm so embarrassed this is quarantine hair guys um, but I do want to let you guys know I am sectioning off my hair as I apply this super stiff right now it's not even curly like it's super straight guys so I'm gonna go ahead and keep this on for 45 minutes and um, it's already a little bit dry because I've already had it on for like 20 minutes I'm gonna come right back on here to show you guys what I put in my hair for moisturizer and then um, let's see how my curls turn out okay guys so I am back I actually just took a long hot lovely shower and I'm gonna show you guys what shampoo and conditioner I use so I'm not really picky with my shampoos I'm not faithful to only one shampoo I love trying out different brands as well so I did try out this herbal essence shampoo and conditioner it has zero uh, parabens and also zero color rates and I'm gonna show you guys what it looks like so I did use the argan oil repair this is the shampoo 
And I love this shampoo and conditioner because guys, when I tell you this shampoo feels exactly like the conditioner, I love how thick and creamy it is. I love how thick and creamy the, actual, the conditioner is. I don't like using watered down conditioners and usually um, when I do shampoo my hair, it feels like the shampoo dries my hair out, but the Herbal Essence shampoo does not dry my hair out at all, guys. I highly suggest if you have curly hair to try this shampoo out. It's very thick and creamy. It's an absolute love that about the shampoo and um, so I'm gonna go ahead and show you what products I will be using um, for my hair but before I take down my hair I am going to be using so I'm indecisive of using this um, I have two types of conditioners so guys actually I have two types of conditioners so this one is feather light it's super light on your hair and this one is more like a um, a thicker conditioner than this one um, so I think I'm gonna go ahead and use the light conditioner yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and use the light conditioner for my hair today. No, I'm actually gonna use the thick conditioner for my hair today, not the light, not the light. So let me go ahead and take down my hair. And guys, I will be using this leave-in um, conditioner spray. So this is what my hair looks like with no product, product in it so far. So I am trying to train, retrain my hair again, guys, because I did put heat in my hair, and the crazy thing is I don't straighten my hair a lot, but when I do straighten my hair, I do have the heat on high heat, and that's when I really mess up, because I can literally straighten my hair one time, and then it'll damage my hair. Um, so it's really just my ends, and I actually just trimmed my ends not too long ago, just because none of the salons are open. It didn't dry my hair out too much, but it just feels so soft, and it just feels perfect. So first, I'm gonna go ahead and go in with the um, midnight train leave-in conditioner this conditioner is by uncle funky's daughter that's a weird name but yes yeah, so I'm gonna go ahead and spray my hair and one thing about this I really want to make sure that I get um, section my hair off when I put the conditioner and just because I don't want to miss no strands whatsoever okay that in my hair so I'm gonna go ahead and separate my hair and I'm not gonna use a brush so I'm just gonna go ahead and finger detangle my hair and then just go in with this um, creamy leave-in conditioner I'm gonna go ahead and use the light conditioner just because my hair is not as curly as it used to be and I don't want the thick conditioner to weigh down my curls so I'm just gonna go ahead and use the light conditioner so guys if you have like curly hair like mine like wavy almost um, light products work best in your hair just because you don't want to weigh down your curls and if you weigh down your curls it just it would just won't look right <laughs> If I had my Denman brush, my curls would have came out 
so pretty, but let's just see how it comes out without the dimming brush. My curls are very loose and delicate, so that's why when you choose your conditioners, when you have loose curls, you don't want to use heavy conditioners because it will literally weigh down your hair. So next, I'm going to go ahead and um, use a diffuser to blow dry my hair, and I'm going to have it on cool, not hot. Yeah, cool. fully dry it's about I would say 90% dry there's still like a little a tiny bit it's not too much dampness but this is what my hair looks like so far um, so I am gonna go ahead and go in with this uh, Garnier Fruity Sleek and Shy it's an anti-frizz serum do not want to put a lot like I said if you have like a loose loose curls you don't want to put a lot of product in your hair because you don't want to weigh down your curls so I literally put a dime size in my hands and I'm just going to go ahead and oh my god my hair smells so good it feels healthy um, so yes if you enjoyed watching this video go ahead and give this video a thumbs up and guys I barely do hair videos like this but I'm gonna start doing more hair videos just because like I said I am trying to train my hair and get it back healthy again it's like one moment I'm obsessed with the flat iron and then the next moment I have a phase where I just want curly hair so like I said if I even decide to want to straighten my hair again I'm going to go to a professional because like I said it seems like when I straighten it I always end up damaging my hair don't forget to subscribe to your girl and I love you guys bye